Hey everybody, this is Elsworth, and welcome to Time Walker Dark World. I've been on a bit of an auto battler kick lately, and this is yet another one. Now, starting out on this, we actually choose four classes. Just as a heads up, this is an auto battler, but we actually kit out our characters as we go and position them and all that kind of stuff. We choose our potential classes here. We actually still have to discover them in the run. So I'm going to be going with fighter, archer, mage, and priest. We still have a ton to unlock. It'll take a while. It's fine. We're going to... Oh, and they've actually changed the screen since last time I played it. We can choose our difficulty, which basically determines how far in you can go. Easiest difficulty you can go after the first boss. S second difficulty you can go up to the sandworm. Third difficulty you have four stages, and I haven't beaten this one yet. I've only done a handful of runs, and I have not unlocked a ton of meta progression. So, we also have contracts. We can get various things going here that give us the currency to do meta progression. Enemies get revive, evasion, indestructible, flexibility, HP, shield, defense, burning, freezing, and broken armor. We're not going to do any of that. We're going to go for kind of a slightly easier difficulty and just kind of build up some of our meta progression and show off the game. Ah, we escape. Ah, we're back again. Nope. You got some balls. I'll give you that, but you can't escape the dark world. I'll take you down once. It will happen again. Naive. The dark world is undefeatable. The further you that's a typo. The further you go, the darkness grows. Yeah, it's not the best translation, but it's kind of a fun game, so I will let it pass on that. Oh, but anyway, we can choose our positions. We can drag them around. All that kind of fun stuff. I'm just gonna go into a line here. And just let it go. We have one enemy. It's not a big deal. Just slash the crap out of them. And we do heal after battle, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we do. Open that up. We get our first sets of treasure. So let's go ahead and collect all those. And now we can equip these on them. We have a basic healing spell, which is decent enough. Uh, healing effect is bonus to instant healing. Reviving Cure won't share that bonus. Yeah, it just gives us extra HP. It's fine. But it also heals. So I'm going to have that one probably be my healer. We have a Fiery Spiral. Burn deals 10 true damage per second. Stack indefinitely, which is just a burn status. It deals 100% attack, fire, mag okay, attack, fire, magic damage to all enemies within one grid of self. And inflicts one burn, which is that kind of just area of effect kind of thing. We'll put it on him for now. And yes, we can swap these around as much as we want. And Icy Multi-Shot. After four basic attacks, we do some physical damage to the nearest enemies. And I don't... Yeah, the distance is only six on it, so six squares. We could combine those to try and just roll for just a random level two. Not a random level two, a random level one. Ah, sorry, adjusting the chair, because I haven't assembled the one that isn't broken. And we'll just go ahead and open a portal. So this tells us what we're pretty much guaranteed to get there. And... I think I want to go for the Gentle Breeze, because that's going to give me attack speed, which lets me kill stuff easier. So, we're not too worried about positioning right now. We'll just let them do their fighting. You can see enemies are level 2 now. Not that bad. We might have wanted to put the healing on someone else, but it's okay. This can be moved around. It's not a big deal. Ah, perfect! No one died! Oh, by the way, this is our number of revives. <laughs> Up there in the top left. So we will collect all these, and yes, we are getting gold as well. And attack speed boost, sure. We'll go ahead and put that on the frontliner. And Frozen Burst is fine, I guess. And we'll move this over here. So now we have, like, attack speed coming from you, and you are buffed up to high hell. Frozen Amplification inflicts severe cold, not on bosses, and freezing to enemies within two grids of the target for three seconds. I think... You know what? We'll go for it. I forget what the purple ones are. I think they're bosses. Yeah, it's a boss. So you get to go there, there, and there. And this will be handy because it gives us attack speed for everybody for five seconds. And it's able to be recast every six seconds, which is fine. Fight. And yes, this guy will probably kill at least one of us. But hey, we'll have killed a boss, so I'm not going to complain too much. But I think it's probably... Oh, he, he might survive. He did. Well, damn. Usually I lose the first one, and we collect that. And this is the reason why you want to face bosses, is now we can turn somebody into a priest. Ta-da-da-da! -da -da. You now heal people. 
And your attack is receive one light when using healing ability. What? They changed it. Oh, it turns it into a healing missile. Never mind. Healing missile heals an ally for 10, which is good. Okay, so all allies get plus 10% ice damage. Not really that great. Just go ahead and load these up on them. Just to have something on them for now. Oh, and here's a book one. So we have Rampaging Impact, another Frozen Burst, which we can't use to upgrade it. We need three of them. We could use that. I mean, it's not worse than... After casting five physical abilities, shoot an arrow that deals attack damage. I think we will go for Frozen Burst, because why not? It's not one that I'm building towards, but hey, we get ourselves a book. This gives us a permanent stat, a boost to attack. I'm going to drop that on Frontliner. Just because he's going to be a beast. And this is just going to go on somebody for now. Attack damage and fire damage is nice. All allies get plus ice damage. Every five hits taken, cast one broken arm to all enemies within grid. Uh, crystal defense or flame blood veins is going to be ideal. Because we're going to have an aggressive character and we're going to have a defensive character probably. I think I am going to take the defensive one first. First, just so we can keep people alive a bit longer. So let's see. You're fine with all of these. I think we just fight with this. So player one is going to be our aggressive character. If we hover over them, it'll tell you their attack. 38 damage versus 25, 30, and that's just a healer. So keep healing people. Keep them alive. And it's doing good. We don't have to worry about anything. I forget what the little sun one is. Don't know for sure, but we're fine. We we healed through it. And we got fireball from it. So you are going to get an offensive ability. Ta da da da. It's got a decent range too, 6. So crystal defense, we're going to probably That one's going to be needed on the front line all out. Actually, we'll throw it on him for now. Move this over to you and get armor on the front liner. So we could make a level 2 frozen burst, but I need this. When HP is lower than 50% for the first time, it inflicts indestructible on self. 40 HP per second and can't stack. That's just an amazing skill. It's going to make tanky boy tankier. So we need that. We have healing. We need to get more actual targeted healing rather than just shooting little healing bullets but I think we'll be okay getting that healing early is just super important for me collect all those we'll throw that on you I don't think this can stack oh it, it's on self not on everybody else so yeah it can stack groovy so for the healing thing I'm gonna get rid of Hmm. I think what we're going to do is we're going to move. I'm trying to think which one I want to actually move around. We'll just throw that on you and give you the actual healing thing. Actually, no, let's go like that and put this on. That's distance six. It's its active thing. It deals, yeah, to all enemies within two grids of target. So it's not of self, it's of target. And I think we'll go for the purple again just to get another class. Even though I probably should be going after imp other improvements. And we are slowed down on damage just a little bit, because, yeah. We have a character that doesn't do damage anymore other than the little fireballs. And I do like that her healing, or them healing, they, they do kind of swap genders whenever we're doing this. Um, I do like when the healing happens that it causes, it counts as an attack, so it does the ice thing as well. There's our fighter, you're going to turn into a warrior, you're going to eventually be more aggressive, but right now you have defensive stuff on. And there's a level 2 frozen burst, so let's swap those out. 
And that is a plus 20 attack. So I think grabbing that and putting healing on our second liner is going to be the thing to do. Hmm. Yeah, grab that. I think we get rid of this for now. We're going to hold on to them, but I think that's what we want. And now we have another one with a book. We get a level two flame burst. After casting four magic abilities, shoots a fireball dealing to an... Yeah, that's not bad. I think we'd actually put it on you, but... Deals 10 true damage per second. I think that might actually be what we go for. Hmm. You know what? We're going to grab Flame Burst, because why not? Collect them all, and we give Defensive Book to Second Liner. So now you're at 35. That one still has way more defense, but this one's going to probably one of our, be one of our go-tos. No on Evil Covenant, because that I, I don't like the negative effect things. The self-sacrifice thing deals 5 true damage to self per 0.5 seconds, can't stack, is kind of rough. Yeah, it gives us bestow and flexibility, but it's a tough one to actually justify. And I think after every point ever ever after every five attacks, hundred and nice physical damage, cast one ice element. Um that might actually be a good one. I will go for that. They've changed quite a bit of stuff since I played this last. It's been a few months. So I just haven't gotten around to doing this one. I will eventually be doing a review on it. They sent me a press key for it, but it mostly just ended up sitting on the shelf for a while, and I'm like, I'll get to it later, I'll get to it later, and then Baldur's Gate 3 release and everything else just kind of kept rolling. So it looks like we're doing good here. This guy is going to become nasty. As you can see, whenever they do get an attack off, it does a good chunk of damage. Open up. And we got the thing we were looking for. Okay, so we have another one of these that we can start upgrading as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take... Huh. Yeah, we'll go with that to there. So you have more offense. We're getting less of these, unfortunately, but it's really nice to actually have those. In fact, I'm going to do this number... Give you the aura thing. And we'll keep the burning, the fireball. Keep these, because they can trigger and be interesting. This one I'm kind of on the fence about keeping, so we'll put the stuff that I know I'm going to keep on the bottom, and the stuff I know I'm going to sell on the top, and stuff I'm unsure about in the middle. That is a melee range one, which is less useful for us, but it's fairly decent. Deals physical damage and equals 10% of max HP to self. Eh, this attack can't hit critically. That would not be bad. We'll grab it. I mean, I'd rather have a purple there to get more classes. Just because that's going to make life so much easier. But launching out all of these different attacks is kind of handy. We are keeping people al very alive with this. And sadly, I usually end up getting a bit of a superior kind of setup. I need to swap positions of those because it's going to bother me if I don't. Go. This we're going to hold on to. We're going to be grabbing it later unless we get something else. Ice multi-shot. We have one that we're working on, so it's, it's fine. There's another purple. It's going to give us an evil covenant. I'm going to sell it. 50% basic attack damage and minus 50% crit rate. That would be really good on you. Because you don't rely on crits. Oh, we have... I want all... Th I want these two. I also want another class. So I'm having to basically choose between... Ah. Uh... Yeah. Deals 100, inflicts one strong self, and inflicts revive on three seconds. So basically... 
gives us healing for three seconds. And it can stack up really nice. I'm going to go for the other class, because I want to show those off. Okay. And second player is going to be the tank, so I need them up front. We want something like that for now. This should be okay. Yeah, we're, we'll, we'll be fine. We might lose... No, we're not even going to lose a character. We're healing enough that it's not a big deal. Surprise, he was the last one to take somebody out. And he was against the... Oh, we got two of them. You. We did get one of these, which is the archer hero class. Which I think will work good for you. That is a distance six. That is a cooldown thing. Yeah, you can go for attack speed. So we'll have two warriors... I kind of regret making this one a fighter, because I could have gone rogue with it and gone crits, but I don't think we want to do that. Crystal Defense 2 would be... Yeah, I think Crystal Defense 2 is the best pick here. Icy Multi... No, we'll go Crystal Defense 2. Get ourselves another buff. That goes on you. You just keep getting more and more attacks, sir. And we will go with the armor two on you. There you go. Armor, self-heal. So you are sitting at 50 armor. You are sitting at 62. You are better off because you are fighter base, unfortunately. That's just kind of what it is. Attack speed over here is currently at 2.4 versus 1 and 0.9. 1.05, yeah, definitely way faster attack there. Open portal. Surprised we haven't ran it. I, well, I suppose we could run into this boss later. Uh, gentle Breeze leaves. I think we'll go for the Gentle Breeze, because that's going to be more handy. And it'll let us get a level 2. And open a slot up. Fight. Pretty straightforward combat here. Fighter's taking point. Well, fighter kind of's taking point. We got, yay, collect, and we can upgrade these, merge into a level two, which is now not quite as good, but it's fine. Five seconds, which is solid enough. Get better attack speed on you. I think we're actually going to put that on you, I think about it. Frozen Strike after... And yeah, that deals melee, though. Is this arranged that it, we already have that on them? I think we go with this one. Yeah, so we can do some cold damage. We're kind of cold-themed right now, which is unfortunate, but it's there. Okay. Healing effect inflicts... It revived and indestructible. Okay. That is just good. Yeah, we'll go Revive Blessing. That's going to be better than this. This is the one that I just took forever on the other one. But it does give 15 defense, and yeah, whenever HP comes low, it does its thing. So for this one, we're going to go across the top. And they're going to probably stick to going after our main guys, which is good for me. Yeah, mages, not so tough once we take out the crap in front. Okay, collect those. That one I don't recognize. Damage amplification. Oh, that boosts attack to all allies. That is going to be on you. And this... You. All well, that goes on there, and we go ahead and get rid of... So this is going to be in the middle as well, because I'm not sure if I'm keeping it. That's not super useful to us. This one I'm actually kind of thinking I might keep. For now, open portal. So taunt. Oh, taunts enemies within two grids is really nice. Triple slash is really nice. Guard is three basic attacks as well. I think we go for taunt, though. And we'll, we'll start re-rolling stuff in a minute, too. 
The main thing we want to be careful of is enemies thinking, oh, I'm going to go after the healer and the archer. Because the healer and the archer are going to get completely destroyed if they get targeted down. The archer is kind of our DPS, although he's probably losing on that one. Okay, so we upgrade these. Oop, grads. Gets us a level two. Can reroll any level ones. I like the taunt. I don't like any of these. So let's go ahead and show what recast does. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, because that's a level two. Derp. Recast gets us a different level one, which is... Eh. One reason I would be keeping these is so I can buy more stuff at the end of a round. Hey! Refresh portal. No. Oh, it's, that's rerolls. This is the shop before we go into hell. I think we will go ahead and sell that. Can't be merged. Oh, we can't merge this into another thing. So we can't get an upgraded basic healing spell. Hmm. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Taunt will keep Get rid of flame burst. So we want you because we want those upgraded. We want an upgrade of this as well, but we want it level two. Basic attack mastery. No inertial strike. Nah. Taunt upgrades could be nice. But I don't think we're going to end up sticking with taunt. I'll go ahead and sell taunt. Don't think any of the rest of this damage amplification is nice. So we'll get that. We have another one of those, which is very nice. That's a good buy. Gonna run out of money here, probably. It's not a big deal. Oh, there's my healing. Yes. That's gonna go in there. I think, yeah, we we do the AOE one with her. I don't think any of the rest of this is super useful. I mean, this is handy. It keeps us alive easier. But I think what we'd... I don't think we'd have a character we'd want to put that on. Although... Go ahead and pull those out. Defensive boost on everybody for you. We'll do one more refresh, probably. All allies heal for 30 if they restart it. Ah. Ooh, it gives another revive if we have over that. So these can be merged. Level 2. Nice. Healing Rain is kind of nice too. Not seeing some of the other stuff that I want in here, unfortunately. I think we grab this and merge those into a level two as well, just for a better attack for them. Oop. We go ahead and grab that for you as well, just more ice damage. So we need another flame blood veins, we need another damage amplification, and we can make those upgraded. Fiery spiral is on the fence. Burning fireball can be sold. Okay, so that's going to go up there with, like, a maybe. That's not super high priority. Flame Blood Veins is a maybe. This, we can upgrade if we find another one. So Gentle Rainfall, Healing Scattershot. I think we go Healing Scattershot. And use that instead of Ice Elemental? Because healing will become very important. So we go with that. And we can't afford this now. I think we're ready to fight. I do think we sell Rampaging, unfortunately. At 117, if we sell this, 
You can buy that. Do we put it in there instead of the attack speed boost? Tough one. Because attack speed is just like triggering all of the stuff for us. I'm going to buy that just in case. So now here's our actual boss here. Frozen Strike 2, Furious Punch 2, or Inertial Strike 2. <laughs> I think we go for Inertial Strike. We'll probably end up selling it and not using it. Damn, this thing is ugly. Are we sure it's a human skeleton? I'm positive I was a man. I have a secret potion. Drink it and your humanity will be restored. Let me pass and I'll give it to you. I'll pick it from your body. Wow, nice. Such a kind individual. And we fight like this. I think... Oh, we might lose our fighter here. Oh, there's Revival. We didn't lose... Yeah, because he used his ability there. That was close. <laughs> we almost lost our, like, actual damage. The game has just begun. What do you mean? Hey, damn, it's dead. Dead man doesn't talk. Yeah, because we have way more areas to go to. Collect everything. More attack for you. We have Arcane Codex. That's actually a decent one because it becomes a mage. But I think we want to stick with you. We'll hold on to it. We might end up re-rolling it. Okay, speed boost, fiery spiral, icy multi-shot. Yeah, we already have icy multi-shot too, so we don't need that. Fiery spiral, we do have two of. Let's grab that. And on to the gablins. We broke the dungeon. Strange sounds came from the ground, accompanied by slight shaking. Seems to be an earthquake. A tremor, you would say. <laughs> Spoiler. Okay. As far as this fight goes, I think we'll be okay. It's just... Eh, maybe, maybe not. We might need more healing. Which just means swapping in the AoE heal. We are getting healing from this one just shooting stuff. So it does keep people alive. Collect and merge. Merging our pain. We'll go ahead and slap that on you, because it's doing less than the defense thing. And we will... Do the AoE heal. Yeah. I like this. I think it might be better than this. Hmm. I think we go like that. For now. Just have that one spamming extra damage. Let's go for the healing strike, because that will be handy to combine as well. And I think we're going to probably lose a character heal here for the first time. Uh, maybe. They are healing as well, but I think they're out healing us, sadly. Okay, so there's one down. So that basically makes it so they can't out heal us. And if the time runs out, I think we lose the encounter. Is kind of annoying. We need more DPS. We need more deeps. He's getting close to dead, but each time he's just getting healed back up to full. This other one's taking damage, though. There we go. Now we're getting him down. Nice. What did we get from that? Collect, we got another healer, which we don't need. We got this for a level two. Which I think is going to replace that. Basically, oh, we're stacking revives. Yeah, we don't need to stack revive. Strong. I think strong is actually going to go on the other one. The AoE fire, though, was actually really handy. This gives us what? Indestructible. I think we might lose Indestructible and get this. I'm going to keep that around, though, just like I'm keeping this. 
Speed boost, handy. And might be better than this. 0.5 for two seconds, 0.2 for 30 seconds. I think we'll go with that for a while and put this on and keep the AOE one. Open portal. Oh, it's a gold one. This one doesn't even matter that much. Okay, melting shot is decent. Flame burst and fiery spiral two, not as important. Although fiery spiral three would be just one away. Yeah, let's go ahead and go for fiery spiral. They definitely give a lot more of these than they used to. That's another fiery spiral. We're going to throw another attack on you. So you're now you're doing 87, 45, and we're one thing away from making just a reroll on that. It's level one. That's actually a fun one for mage. Crystal defense one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab that. See if we can get up to two stacks of two. And fight. Don't know if the enemies are going to track on... No, they're not going to track on her. Thank God. Thank Gouda. Gotta love that attack speed. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Angry mode on the archer there. Collect them all. Keep that. That can go away. Still nothing too great. There's our other crystal defense, so we might as well grab it. I want a purple is what I want. And yeah, this guy right here, not doing a lot of damage. The little archer, if you can actually see my mouse. Not doing a ton of damage per hit, but doing a lot of hits. Okay, we need to merge these up, so we have two level twos. Ta-da! Bonk! This, yeah, if they're already in the revive state, they get another 15 HP. So we have revive automatically on you. If I get another one of these at a decent level, I'm going to grab it for the other one. So we got purple there, which is our speed boost. Nothing in the rest of these is really interesting. So we're going for the class and hopefully not dying. Oh, nope, yep. <laughs> I was going to say, hopefully not dying, but we ended up dying. Oh, God, we are dead dead. Yeah, there goes our healer. Yep, yeah, we're, we're gone. I don't think there's a way this guy can actually beat the big one before dying again. No! Escape! We still get the stuff, so we can use the reroll. Uh, recast. We got another archer, which is not what we wanted, but it's fine. Merge. We now do more damage. Still not hitting that hundred mark, which is kind of where I want to be. Kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and drop that on there instead of the armor. Mm, no, we're going to go with that. This is nice. I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to work out for us in the long. Gentle breeze leaves. Sure, why not? And yes, we can speed things up. It's fine. Like these little guys, I'm not as worried about. Sure, they can gang up on us, but big guy just... He went just the worst path possible for us. Okay, so open a portal. We're going to go for revive blessing. Because we could probably use that. I really need to get you a class. But just putting a random class on them doesn't work. At least not for me. Okay, open portal. Explosive shot, speed boost. Healing, yes. We could use an upgrade on that. We have healing, yeah, gentle rainfall as well. Yeah, we're keeping alive against the, like, trash. It's just the big guys that are a pain in the ass. Okay, so there's another purple. We have gentle rainfall, though. I think we just go for the purple. And, okay, we don't have the big guy, so that's a plus. You have the clerics. 
We're keeping alive. Barely. We lost half our lives against the big dude. Another one. Jeez. This is just going to go up there as well. Yep. Open portal. This is going to be another gold, which is good for us. I guess I see multi-shot too. Collect more defense. Do we go on you or do we just go full ham on big guy? I think we go full ham on big guy. I regret wasting it on you because <laughs> this one's already just way better. Frozen strike, flame burst, and can I get the mouse to go over? Precision shot two. It's only distance one though. I have never understood that about that one. It was that way before as well. Where, How is a precision shot at point blank? It should be point blank shot. And I just love Speedy McGee over here. Launching all the spammed heals on everybody. Sure, I'll make that level 2, which I think is a 16 defense boost. No, it's 15. Okay. Huh. I need... Actually, I wouldn't mind having more attack speed on you instead of that. Just to trigger the healing more often. Revive Blessing seems like the good pick here. And fight. Uh, big guy not doing too hot. He's not going down yet, but... There he goes. Elect... Is this actually... No, that doesn't give us any attack speed. This gives us attack speed. This does not. Maybe we go with that? Puts you at three attacks? I think we just go for whatever there. That's not even an important one. <laughs> See, not much damage, but we are churning out that healing. Goodness. I just see all the num green numbers just spamming on top of them, and it makes me happy. Gentle Rainfall is probably the pick here. Yeah, we'll just go Gentle Rainfall. Why did you go up? I was hoping he'd go after the mages. Because the mages can actually be a problem if they decide to target badly. Because they can all focus. Hey, there we go. You now have defense. They have the same defense now. Which is working for me. Okay, so there's Gentle Rainfall 2, which does more healing. I have the attack speed buff, which is just going to come up to a level 2. Stick it down here. So if we can get this up to a level 3, that'll be awesome sauce. Although we're almost at the boss, so it's probably not going to happen. In fact, we are at the boss, so it's not going to happen. Okay, we have the heals, so we can grab that. Merge it. Let's see. Think on our current setup. I think we sell these. Which are a decent chunk of money, by the way. Sell those, because we don't need the extra damage. Getting another one of these would be nice. Healing Strike's going to go away. I loved that skill. I think they nerfed it. <laughs> Flame Burst can go away. Pretty much all of these can go away. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Oh, I shouldn't have gotten rid of the... Other thing up there. You can go away as well. You can go away. We have attack speed too. We have spikes too. And we have that. Get more good stuff. We should be fine. Let's go ahead and refresh that. Question is, what do we build up for specifically? Because I don't want to waste money on a bunch of... I think we want this just to deal with crowds. 
None of the rest of that seems particularly interesting to me. And not no level twos is what's throwing me off here. I mean, we do have this. It's a speed boost, but I, I don't really care about leveling that up. That I do care about leveling up. I think that's all of those. Do I waste money on getting the speed boost up? Okay, so we're sitting on these. Refresh once more. This is getting expensive. I mean, we can do the speed boost. I don't think we're going to get the flame. Though it would be very nice to get. Yeah, I can pretty much guarantee we're not getting the flame. Because, yeah, we'd need... We would have needed this to spawn, too. Ah. Question becomes... Sell stuff. I think we sell this, that. Buy. You and hope to get another one on this next roll. And we did. Okay. That works. Sad we didn't get an upgrade on this, but... I think we'll be fine. Come on, go up there. Merge. Level three. Massive HP boost. AoE fire damage. It deals 97, you deal 35. I think we swap those. Yeah, less damage for you. You actually do okay damage. <coughs> but this is going to do more damage. On that setup. I think we go in for the fight. I don't think we're going to win this one, but I'm going to try. Damn, that's a big worm. It's Tremors. Sheep she. A lot quieter than the skull. We need a battle cry before we face this monstrosity. Well then, may the holy light be with us. Okay. Okay, so you guys need to be a further apart and fight. And yeah, we are totally dying here. I don't think we have enough healing to... Oh, uh, we might. We might have enough healing to overcome it. Oh, yeah, we do. Ha-ha! <laughs> now that we're spamming everything, we made it! Body of the Sandworm breaks apart, collapsing in the sands, and the only silence is left like nothing has ever happened. Leave this place. But that's the end of that run. That's basically how runs go, except they can go much, much, much longer. But we can also unlock talents now. Such as unlock the advanced class, a veteran. I think that's advanced warrior. We have the advanced professional prayer, which is priest apostle healing effect. Dungeon welfare, which is max contracts, which I don't know what that does. And we can die even more with that. But that's going to be the end of this run. So if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll probably be doing more of this game because for some reason I just enjoy it, which is weird because it's very, very basic. <laughs> But yeah, keep gaming, have fun, peace out. This has been Al's Wrath. Bye.